Hi guys, Dr. Nicole here. This is another part of our Voyage to Vitality series. We are going to be talking about what is a root canal. So I'm going to be breaking out my whiteboard, doing some really fancy Bob Ross drawings of a tooth with some dry erase markers, and we are going to discuss what a root canal is. So I look forward to it. Let's break out the whiteboard. Okay guys, so let's talk about what is a root canal. Okay, so here is my uh, beautiful snow cone tooth, so you can make fun of me all you want, but I will win awards one day. So here we go. Number one, this is the root of the tooth, okay? This is the top of the tooth that you see. This is the part underneath in the gums that you don't. Each and every single tooth has little fibers around it. These fibers are called the periodontal ligament for those who are nerdy and actually care. For those who don't, they're just little fibers like the fibers and ligaments in your back, your hip, your shoulder that hold everything together, just holds your tooth in place. And then there's bone that this tooth sits in. So your tooth actually floats and is held in inside a little socket in your mouth. All right, so let's talk about a root canal. And in order to do that, we've got to talk about the three layers of the tooth. So the first layer of the tooth is the enamel. That's the one that everybody's heard of before. That's the white part on the outside, okay? The second part of the tooth is the center of the tooth, okay? That is called the dentin. That's the yellow tooth part that you see when you get some recession or if you break a tooth, it's the yellower part in the center, okay? The last one is the nerve of the tooth, also known as the pulp for anyone who's been studying on um, and Dr. Google, it's called the pulp. So the pulp is the one in the center here that goes from the center of the top of the tooth all the way down the root to the end, okay? This is where nerves, blood vessels, all the things that keep your tooth in one piece and gives it hot and cold sensitivity live, all right? So why did I tell you this? Because in order to understand what a root canal is, you have to understand what areas of the tooth the dentist is working on. All right, so root canals. The reason why they're done is because the nerve, aka pulp of the tooth, dies, aka undergoes necrosis. That's a very fancy way of saying tooth death. Mm, okay. So what happens is, is something causes the nerve of the tooth to die. It can be a variety of different things that we'll talk about in another video. But what happens is, is it causes pressure to build up inside the tooth and it puts pressure against the walls of the tooth. Now, why is this a problem? If you cut your skin, right, and you get a bruise and it swells and it bleeds, what your body does is it puts a you know, scab on there, you get swelling and then slowly but surely it goes away. Well, when you have something that injures the nerve of the tooth, the body swells, but it's swelling into something very, very difficult and strong, it's not difficult, and something that will not expand. So you have swelling against something that doesn't expand, which creates more pressure and more pressure and more pressure, which is what causes you to get tooth pain, okay? The pain is actually caused by the pressure buildup inside of the tooth until the infection shows up at the bottom and your body is able to drain out the infection, okay? So why does this matter? Because what we need to do for a root canal is we need to go in and clean out this dead area. So how do we do this? What the dentist will do is they'll poke a hole in the top of the tooth, okay? This hole extends down to where the nerve is or the dead nerve, as I should say. And then they go in and they clean it out using a bunch of different techniques with files and different things that they use, okay? And what that does is it causes this red area to become basically like a little canal or a hole in the tooth, thus root canal, okay? It goes down into the bottom here. Some people need to have medication put in the area. This allows for healing, it re removes the infection. Some people, they don't need to do that and they'll just fill in the root canal that day, okay? But what ends up happening at the end, no matter who you are, is you get a filling put in that extends from the middle of the tooth down 
through the center to the end of the tooth. Alright, and then there is a filling put over the top. And what this does is it seals off the special filling that's put in down the root and keeps it safe. So basically, let's recap. What is a root canal? A root canal is a treatment used for people who would like to keep their teeth when the nerves of their teeth die. Okay, what it does is you go in, you poke a hole in the top of the tooth, you clean out where the nerve and all of the infection is, then you fill it in with a special filling and you put a white filling or something like that over the top. So if you have any questions, want to discuss this further, please feel free to give us a call. But until then, keep on brushing.